Pat McEnany came here in 2006 from the University of Virginia and we knew we were getting a good pitcher. I believe Pat got knocked out of the NCAAs rather early. They didn't expect to. So Pat got here in a relatively early part of the season and quickly became the ace of the team and it was obvious why. Pat commanded the strike zone with a 90 plus mile an hour fastball from the left side. His breaking ball, his curveball was almost unhittable. A great 12-6 curveball with a outstanding change up and you could see Pat really knew how to pitch. Um, it was obvious why he, be, he had a perfect season with us. He was 7-0 over the course of the season. He started the All-Star game. He was very effective in the playoffs, had two great outings. Pat McEnany had probably one of the best summers in any CBL history. 1.55 ERA, 55 Ks in 51 innings with 13 walks. You know, the, Pat McEnany had an unbelievable summer with us and you could tell that he was just one of those kids who was focused. Um, come to the field every day, with, ready for business. His workouts were business-like and when he got on the mound it was obvious everything was business with Pat McEnany. His focus was unparalleled. Pat, you were pretty special that summer. Well, he was 7-0 record, which is a record for a win-loss percentage in the NECBL in 2006, when the Gulls posted a 32-10 record, which is still the best in the NECBL during the regular season. And he was a starting pitcher in the NECBL All-Star game. He's another one that, uh, 6'3", 180 pounds, a left-hander with that, with some pretty good control, and I mean, he, on base average during the season, 1.89 on base average pitching. So that was very impressive. And his 7-0 record, as I said, is the highest, best win-loss percentage in the history of the NECBL, so that really speaks for itself. He was just, a, just an impressive pitcher out of the University of Virginia. The 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss, he struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for McEnany. McEnany's next pitch. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Pat McEnany strikes out the side here in the eighth. Yeah, Pat McEnany, Pat, big left-handed pitcher from Virginia. Came up here, uh, we knew we were getting a very good player. Uh, Pat was drafted out of high school, and so we knew we got a special player uh, from Virginia as a freshman. And uh, he came up in quiet kid, um, tall, left-hander, uh, polite, and just pitched, just pitched, just cut guys out. Um, you know, knew what he was doing, had a game plan out there, very intelligent pitcher, very smart player, and he just, uh, he, he knew what his job was when he went out there and uh, did not require a lot of coaching, um, just knew what had to be done. So, and uh, it, it proved he was the best, he was, to my mind, he was, he was the best pitcher in our league that year. He was, he was so dominant. Pat was a, um, a left-handed pitcher from Syracuse, New York, and he came to us in the year 2006. He was, um, came from a nice, very supportive family. They would come, it's about a six hour trip to Syracuse, and then another six hours back, the family would come, all five children and the parents, and many, not, many a night, uh, Pat's mom and little sister would sleep here overnight. Uh, Pat was quiet, uh, very studious, I think, especially about his baseball, and he was a great left-handed pitcher, and I'm so pleased that he was our uh, gull for the year 2006. Pat was a big part in uh, 2006 of that run, a run that may never be repeated again in the NECBL, 32-10. and 10. Uh, You know, we all know, you know the team ran out a little gas in the playoffs, but you know, to, to put off those win streaks that they did a couple 10 game win streaks and to, to rock up 32 wins in a regular season. Uh, the goals have had some great teams since 2006, but that is performance that has yet to be repeated by Newport or by any, any other team in the NECBL on Pat McEnany and his superb pitching was a big part of that. In 2006, when I started recruiting the Newport goals roster, I made contact with a friend of mine down at St. John's University. His name is Scott Brown. He was the pitching coach. 
And I usually asked him about some of the recruits around the country that he could recommend that I should be chasing. And one of the guys he mentioned was Pat McEnany from Syracuse, New York, who was going to Virginia. He had seen him a couple of times that summer, and he thought he was very good and I should chase him down. So I did chase him down at Virginia, and we ultimately were able to sign Pat to come here in 2006. And I thank you, Scott, for giving me that recommendation because you gave me a Hall of Famer. Pat McEnany is a Hall of Famer.